This has been the focus for us for the last couple of years. And it just makes everything so much easier, which is why the customer surveys are important. It's creating an experience for your client that is going to have them raving about it. And, and you know, so everyone's heard this story. But if you have kids and you've been on a Disney, anything Disney, it's just like the best thing ever. You know, like I'm willing to pay three times more for a cruise with Disney than any other cruise that I could go on. Or same thing with, you know, going to Disney World. I mean, it's it, the, the experience. Of course, your kids are part of it. And there's other analogies. You know, there's reasons why people go to Nordstrom and, um, you know, where you can get similar clothes or, you know, clothes that serve the same purpose at Kmart or, you know, TJ Maxx. And there's nothing wrong with TJ Maxx, but it's just different when you go to Nordstrom. And so I, I firmly believe that I want to be the Nordstrom. I want to be the Disney of, of our market. Um, I've gone through most of this here. Um, just compensation is, is, is huge. And the fact that, you know, you just, you need to add a ton of value all the time when you're, when you're small and you don't have four agents that are crushing it. The value is in what can you bring to the table every week to your team meetings and how can you, you know, be the firm, you know, parent that you're, children, your childlike buyer agents, and I don't say that negatively, but they're kind of like children. They're going to complain. They're going to want to, you know, negotiate everything. Like my children are the perfect example for my business. They negotiate everything. Like everything is, is worth complaining, complaining about. Um, so really just pay attention to compensation. Uh, you've got to have a systems-based uh, business. You know, culture is a, a part of it. And so if you pray, that's like a cultural thing that you can do. You just don't want to be that loose collection of agents where everyone has a one-off deal and you're not driving the ship. I promise you, Mike Quayle is a good example. You stay the course. You're doing what you're doing. And if someone doesn't fit in, don't, don't let them mess up what you're doing. Get rid of that traditional agent if that's the right move. And then talk to the other two and say, hey, listen, this is not for everybody. But I promise you, if you stick with me, the other side of this is ha has you earning six figures plus, which is a life changer for you. And you've got to be able to, even you don't, if you don't have the, the, um, the proof, so you don't have someone doing it yet, you've got to stick to that model. 